Some say that Iblis was a fallen angel, that he had a disagreement with Allah, a good guy turned bad. So, what do Muslims actually believe about Satan? Now, Amazon Prime has sparked global debates by releasing Has Been Hotel, a series which aims to portray Satan as the good guy and God as the one who concealed his story. So what do we Muslims actually think about this? Well, to find out, we need to know a little bit more about Satan. So you'll often hear about Satan and Iblis. The first thing to understand here about their stories is that they are not actually the same thing. In short, Satan is a hidden force present inside every single human being, and he incites us to do evil. So that is Satan, the force that is actively trying to misguide us. And now we come to Iblis. So if a person chooses to bow to Satan, becomes arrogant and defiant, rebellious to the truth, then that person becomes the manifestation of Satan. Satan personified, otherwise known as Iblis. Every prophet and every age has had an Iblis. But the one mentioned and renowned in the Quran is the Iblis from the time of Prophet Adam alayhi salam. What do we need to know about him in order to understand the story? The Quran records a conversation between Allah and Iblis in which Iblis asked Allah permission to lead his people astray. Allah granted him permission and complete free reign to do whatever he wills to whomever he wills. But Allah warned him that he would be unable to deceive the true people of Allah. So the idea that he has been censored or is unable to tell his side of the story is completely illogical. If he really was the good guy, he could have made that clear at any point in time. We know that Iblis is described in the Quran as a jinn with a fiery nature. He was called a jinn because he used to live in the caves and was concealed from those who lived above the ground. He was described as fiery because of his arrogance and anger towards Prophet Adam alayhi salam. On the other hand, Adam, meaning brownish complexion, indicates that Prophet Adam lived above the ground and therefore was tanned by the sun and had a brownish complexion. And we know that Allah states in the Quran that Adam alayhi salam was made out of clay, not fire. This indicates that just like clay, Adam alayhi salam willfully molded and submitted himself to the will of Allah, unlike Iblis, who was incredibly enraged that a man such as Adam had been selected over him to be prophet of Allah, even though Iblis was the chief of the cave dwellers of his time. So, what have we learned here? We know that Iblis chose to defy the Prophet of Allah because he felt he was superior and deserved preferential treatment to him. Does that sound like something a good person would do? I think not. Finally, some say that Iblis was a fallen angel, that he had a disagreement with Allah, a good guy turned bad. This isn't true. In fact, the Quran says that Iblis was a jinn, not an angel. So that's absolutely clear. Now, although the Quran does say that Iblis refused to bow with the angels, this does not mean he was one of them. The Arabic word illa in this verse of the Quran is crucial to understand. For example, when we say illa himaruhum, meaning the people arrived except for their donkey, it does not mean the people and the donkey are the same breed. Similarly, when the Quran says فَسَجَدُوهُ إِلَّا Iblis, that all the angels prostrated except for Iblis, it does not mean that Iblis and the angels are the same thing. So, Iblis was not a fallen angel. And therefore, the idea that Iblis was a good guy turned bad is completely baseless. Finally, all we have to do to see if Satan is good, is ponder upon what modern day Satanism, such as Levian Satanism, actually promotes. Individualism, secularism, and liberalism. Now in the modern day, it is these very ideas that are destroying the family unit by empowering ideas like ultra-feminism, pride, and neoliberalism. This idea that I should put myself before others, and that God doesn't know what's good for me, I do. 
Perhaps the most ironic thing about Levian Satanists is that they do not even believe Satan exists. So the debate about him being a good person is already out of the picture. The past of Satanists is also wrecked with allegations of cannibalism and sexual crimes, which simply cannot be mentioned here. All of these things cannot be ideas that stem from the good guy. So was Satan a good guy? Now that we have the true picture before us, you can decide for yourself.